Hey everyone, my name is Julie Tran with Rogue Yogi. So, it's the holiday season and you could be traveling, you could be Zooming or video conferencing into holiday gatherings, or you could be keeping it low key. But either way, the season is an opportunity to slow things down. So I'll be sharing yin yoga videos like this every week, and you don't have to go and buy expensive props. Um, you can have a bath towel instead of a yoga strap. You can also use the same bath towel instead of a yoga blanket. You can also grab pillows off of your bed or cushions from your couch. And if you'd like cheaper alternatives for yoga blocks, you can go to TJ Maxx and usually they'll have really, really cheap yoga props that you can use and you can try them out until you decide you want to spend a little more on some more solid props. Same thing goes for myofascial release massage balls. You can just go to the sporting goods store and get a pair of lacrosse balls. They're a lot cheaper, they're firmer, but they definitely help get the job done. So for today's practice, you can set aside 15 to 30 minutes any time of the day, but if you're very, very busy, then you can definitely set some time before you go to bed. You can make this part of your bedtime routine, no matter where you're at. And for today's practice, you can grab a yoga strap or a bath towel. You can have a pillow ready and have two yoga blocks. Before we get into using the props, take some time to find a quiet place and you can take a seat or you can lie on your back, whatever feels comfortable for you in this moment. And as you settle in, you can sit on a yoga block to elevate your hips, or you can sit on one, of, one or two of your pillows. And you can keep your eyes open if that feels better for you today, or you can gently close your eyes. Notice the texture of your breath without trying to fix anything. Just simply notice. And if you need more feedback to get a sense of where your breath is centered, you can place one hand on your sternum, one hand on your belly. And take normal breaths. Is the breath mainly in your chest area? Or is it in the belly region? Or is it some combination of both? Notice if there are any parts of your body that can soften a little more. And 
And during the holidays, many of us tend to indulge a lot in many things, whether it's food, beverages, whatever it is. So it's helpful to take this time to take a moment to pause. Slow things down. Oftentimes we catch ourselves in this need to do, just doing, 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 being somewhere, accomplishing something. And sometimes we overlook or miss any sensations that our bodies may be experiencing. Notice where your thoughts are going in this moment. And if you catch your thoughts floating away towards something outside of yourself, you can always bring your attention back to your breath. And you can always bring your attention back to the hand on your chest and the hand on your belly. just the fact that you are noticing your thoughts floating off to something else is still mindful. Notice sounds you might hear outside. Notice what sounds you might hear inside the house. Knowing that during the holidays there may be many things that are beyond your control. But what you can do is gently guide your attention back to your breath. And from here, if your hand is on your chest and on your belly, you can relax your hands into your lap or you can relax the palms face down onto your thighs. If you are lying down, you can relax your arms by your side. And 
Notice how your body is making contact with the floor. If you are in a seated position, notice how your glutes, your sit bones make contact with the floor. Without fixing anything or judging anything, simply noticing. And from here, if your eyes are closed, you can slowly and gently reopen those eyes and begin to take in everything that's in your field of vision. And from here, if you are in a seated position, you can remove any props that you're sitting on and have your bath towel or yoga block ready. And for this first yin pose, we're going to lie in a side reclining position, like a side reclining Buddha. And you can have your yoga block at its medium height and place it where it will rest underneath the, uh, the armpit, slightly lower. So where your bra line would be or basically where the middle of your side ribs would be. If you don't have the block, you would roll up your bath towel. You can roll it up. In this long skinny way or if you'd like some more cushion and some more gentle pressure you can fold the bath towel in half to create uh, to create a little more thickness and you would place it where the yoga block would be so if you were Lying down, you would roll over to the side and carefully set your yoga props down. And wherever you're at, lean over the yoga block or the bath towel. And use your forearm for support. So your legs are on top of each other. They can be straight or they can be bent. And rest your side body over your prop and cradle your head in your hand and rest on your elbow for support. And your top arm can rest alongside your body or you can relax it in front of your abdomen. Either way, Make sure you feel that you've got some good gentle pressure right in that side body. And you can keep your eyes open or you can gently close them. And from here, you can rock your upper body forward just a few degrees and start to rock backwards. Make sure you soften your neck and that there's no strain or effort in the neck. And roll forward and roll back. Roll forward one more time and roll back. 
and return to the center and find a place where you can remain here in this position for about two minutes. So there should be no pain or discomfort. But you want to feel some slight gentle pressure. This is a good opportunity to notice where your thoughts are floating to. You notice the sounds you hear outside and inside the house. And gently bring your attention back to your body. You notice how your side body is making contact with the yoga block or the bath towel. And again, noticing your breath. And from here, bring your top hand down to the floor. Use your other hand for support to gently lift yourself off of the block. And we'll move the block higher up the mat, basically where it's going to make contact with your armpit. So it should be nice and centered in the armpit. And slowly lower yourself down, rest on your right forearm until you find that the block is nice and centered. Now if you're using the towel, we'll place it down and you'll lower your armpit onto the cushion sur cushiony surface. And again, rest your head onto your right hand and relax your left arm wherever you feel comfortable. And begin to roll forward one degree and begin to roll back. And roll forward and roll as slow as you can. And roll back. And rolling forward one more time. And rolling back. And center yourself. And make sure you have a good position on your prop, as we'll be here for about two minutes. If you are feeling comfortable with closing your eyes this time, you can close it now.
into you know, parts of your body, like your side body, looking softened a little more. Feel your armpit and the surrounding muscles and connective tissues softening into the crop. And as you are breathing, notice your belly, your side body, and your lower back as you take in each inhale and exhale. Feeling your side body just draping off of the yoga prop. Feeling your armpits sinking into. From here, bring your hands to the floor. Use them for support as you push yourself off of the prop. And from here, we'll come into a supported fish pose, Matsi Asana. So if you have a yoga block, you'll place it at the lowest height. If you don't have a yoga block, You'll grab that pillow from your bed and you can fold it so you can rest your head at, onto the nice cushion. Otherwise, you'll place another yoga block where you'll rest your head. Now we'll come into the final yin yoga pose of this practice. So if you have yoga blocks, you will place one at the lowest height where you'll rest the lower parts below your shoulder blades, uh, your middle back. Middle upper back is going to rest here. And then you'll take the second block and you'll place it where your head will rest. So this will also be at the lowest height. If you don't have any yoga blocks, what you can do is grab your pillow or couch cushion and place it where your head will rest. Then grab your bath towel. And you can refold it. So you've got this longer length here and fold it one more time. So you got this nice skinny rectangle and you can fold it in half one more time. So you have a cushiony rectangle and you'll place it where your, the bottom part of your shoulder blades will be. So I'm going to use a pillow for my head and I'm going to use the yoga block for my middle upper back. You carefully roll onto 
take back. Rest on your forearms and then feel where that prop is. So once you lie back, see if this is a good enough level for your head. But for me, I need to fold this pillow one more time. So I'm gonna roll over to the side, sit back up, fold the pillow, and place it back down. I'm gonna reposition myself. All right, so that's a good height for my head. And then the block is just below. You can feel part of the uh, bottom edges of your shoulder blades, but you can feel that the block is smooth and flat below your back. And you can feel your shoulder blades sloping over the sides. So your arms can be by your sides or they can be slightly away from your body. And you, your legs can be in constructive rest, so your feet will be a little wider than hip width apart, and the knees can rest inward. Or if you feel more comfortable with the legs long, you can stretch them out, allow the feet to flop over and where, where they want to be. And you can keep your eyes open, or you can Close them one more time. And then notice how your upper back makes contact. And notice how your middle back begins to slope downward from the block. And notice if there's any parts of your back that can soften a little more. If you prefer to place one hand on your chest and one on your belly, you can do that too. At this point, notice if you can soften even more. See if you can send your breath into your belly, the sides of your belly, and your lower back. Feeling your ribs expand with each inhalation.
bringing your attention back to your body. And you start to slowly come out of this posture. You can bend one knee at a time. Your legs have been lengthened. And roll over to your side. Come off of the block or the towel. And rest here on your side in fetal position. And you can notice the sensations in your body right now. And from here, slide any yoga props away from your mat as you slowly roll onto your back one last time. For Shavasana, you can be in, you can take a constructive rest or relax the legs long. You can Keep your head on the block or the pillow, or remove the prop and relax your head directly on the ground. Notice how your feet are making contact with the ground. Inviting your attention up to your shins and calves. Noticing your knees and how they feel inside. And sending your attention up to your thighs, the inner, outer, front, and back. Now noticing your hips, noticing your low back and what kind of arch it's making with the ground. Holding your attention up to your thoracic spine, your middle back, and your upper back. Noticing your shoulders and how they make contact with the ground. Notice your upper arms, lower arms, and, and all your fingers. And directing your attention back up to the forearms, upper arms, the shoulders. And now the neck. Noticing your cervical spine and the curvature it is making. And notice the back of your head, the top of your head. Your face, your forehead, and 
notice your whole body, your whole body. Bring your attention back to your body. Begin wiggling your toes and brushing your fingertips together. You can stretch your arm past your head. We'll stretch every single inch of your body. Roll over to one side in fetal position and slowly bring yourself back up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. You notice how your body feels right now. Notice how it feels different from the beginning of your practice. As you move through this holiday season, maybe take some time to yourself to slow things down. care of yourself. And be still. Thank you for practicing with me today. Happy holidays.